Good day, there, mates. My name is Mr. McGillicuddy, and welcome back once again to my channel. Today, we'll be continuing the story of Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection. Part 2, Uncharted Among Thieves. So, in the previous episode, we started to make our way through the, uh, the jungle in Borneo. Towards where... I can't even pronounce his name. I know the name, but I just can't say it. It's like one of the most, like, you know what the name is, but you just can't remember how to say it. Okay. But anyway, we're making our way through there and uh, making our way to the Lazarevich. That's it. That's his name. Making our way through his main camp and uh, hopefully having a look at the document. So, let's dive straight into it, shall we? And oddly enough, I'm taking a look at my views and I'm just shocked that Uncharted is my most viewed series on my channel. I suppose that's due to the fa Oh my! <laughs> 20, 73 views. Thank you, thank you guys all so much. But seriously, get my other game to work. They're not all that bad, okay? All right, we head into chapter four, four, five. Hold on to his text, sorry. Tick, 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 tick. Chapter 4 The Dig. Okay. I think I see the camp up ahead. Okay, you ready? Wait, wait, just hold on a sec. Three months and you have found nothing. Well, well, well now wait, wait a minute. We've been commander. That must be Lazarevich. That must be Lazarevich. This man was caught stealing artifacts from site number five. <laughs> you would betray me for this? No, no, Zoran, I can't explain. No, no need, no need. <laughs> What do you say we really ruin this guy's day? Do it. Run out! Search the perimeter! Go! Alright, it's all yours, kid. I'll cover you from here. Bang. <laughs> Some fool left a sniper rifle up here. Careful, Nate. Sentries behind. All right, let's put a shot at It's showtime. <laughs> Thanks for the AK. You're not paying us enough of this shit. Shut up, would you? I'm sick of your complaining. Let me stick with it for much longer. Yeah, we got our guns back. All right, because in the previous part we uh, lost them because we got into a scuffle. If you want to call it that. Any more around here? Let's see if we can go at this quietly. Are you gonna stay there? Or are you gonna keep? I think he's locking the animation again. Oh jeez. I don't know too much about it now. That's your own damn fault. Oh, 
No worries, Wally. We got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No need to act all dramatic. We know you're dead. Okay, I think according to the guide, there's actually a treasure very close by. I think we need to do a bit of climbing first, so... One sec. Okay. Ah, I'm an idiot. All we had to do was just shoot it down. Okay, so look up. There it is. And. First shot. <laughs> okay, so we've got a. Uh, Mongo. Mongo. Pazia passport. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but. That's how you. That's the passports back then. So, someone had the idea of passports way back when, even before modern times. Kudos to them. Alright. Man, this Lazarevich guy isn't screwing around, Sully. You should see all this stuff. He's got files on every expedition to find Shambhala. All the way back to the 1600s. What about Marco Polo's journals? <laughs> yeah, they are. Just hurry it up. You haven't got much time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The worthy pilgrim is granted a golden passport to conquer obstacles on his journey to Shambhala. Huh. Is that supposed to mean something? Beats me. Hold on. Here we go. It was with great sorrow that I left my fellow travelers to their fate. A fate decreed by the dreadful cargo we bore from Shambhala. You must have thought that tsunami was some kind of divine retribution. Wait a minute. Damn. Sully, I don't think the Chintamani Stone is here. What? Listen to this. I, I would have sooner endured the wrath of Kublai Khan himself than remove the Chintamani Stone from that sacred shrine. Marco Polo never had the stone. Then what dreadful cargo was he talking about? I don't know. Well, if the stone's not here, what the hell is Lazarovich looking for? Shambhala. Here in Borneo? He's a little wide of the mark, don't you think? He must be trying to pick up Marco Polo's trail. Back to Shambhala. Why? <laughs> because the stone is still there. <sighs> Chloe, can you talk? Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. In all this digging they've done, have they found any bodies, any remains at all? Now that you mention it, nothing. Why? <laughs> Over 600 people were shipwrecked here, yet there's no bodies. Don't you find that a little odd? So where did they all go? Where would you go if a tsunami hit? To higher ground. Bingo. We head to that mountain. What do you bet we find Marco's pals? Chloe, can you meet up with us? Already on my way. Great. Uh-oh. Nate, you gotta get out of there. <laughs> You're gonna have to give me a minute, Sully. You don't have a minute. What's this? They're all dead. Thanks, Sully. Nate. Well, that's convenient. Alrighty. So we can do grenades with this. Ah. Okay, so another way we can do grenades. I thought I was doing it wrong the first time. Did I get him? Not all of them. Whoa! Ow, 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 ow. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez. Come on. They're coming in on the left. Yeah, I'm I feel him. Sorry about that. I have something I needed to fix up on my channel. We got more. Hit the dirt! Show yourself! 
Actually, you show yourselves. Clear out! Another wave! Got him with the own grenades. I see the bricks. I'm here. Jeez, and I'm flying. Just waiting for me to stick my little head out, aren't you? Don't hit, don't hit, don't hit. Oh, he slightly hit me. Thank goodness for those grenades. I see it. Who's trying to hit me? Closing in on me. That's why I did some damage. Definitely did. Missed one shot though, but <clears throat> what can you do? Oh, man. oh, come off it. I got more than I can handle here, kid. Hold on, Sully. Accent reinforcements. I'm trying to warm a grenade in there if I can get closer, but I got the, got the Doom Squad on me. Come on, poke your head out. Oh, it's right. Eat this! I think I need to get closer. I'm going to get a uh, trophy for that. <laughs> Whew. Well, 
Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey, yeah, sorry. Should be this way. Sully, look at these stones. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. Hmm. I'm no Hungry Oswald expert, but seeing cars stone like this, that's definitely a sign of civilization. <laughs> Would you look at that? Oh, yeah. Hey. Hello. What do we have here? With any luck, the last resting place of Marco Polo's crew. Shall we check it out? Let's. Wow, this place must be thousands of years old. At least. One more, one less. Okay. Down this way. Wow. Looks like we hit the jackpot. Ugh, there must be hundreds of bodies down here. Look at their teeth. They're all black. I think they're all that way. They must have taken refuge here during the tsunami. Okay. Black teeth. What does that mean? There's got to be some sort of clue around here. Does it mean they call some parasite or maybe from the wrath of the... Uh, Whatever brought him here. Okay, so we I need to get up ah, here we go. Alright, we've got a jade uh, belt slide. Very nicely crafted too. Well done, naughty dog. Okay, so it should be about be about uh, one more treasure in this chapter here. Hey, I think I found something. In here. What? They must have carried their cargo all the way up here after they were shipwrecked. I said it once, I'll say it again. I hate bats. More resin. I've seen this before. Sully, give me a light. Oh. Ooh. Creepy. Sorry. Wait a minute. This is blood. It's everywhere. Looks like a real massacre. I right, see let's it. follow the blood stains. We'll see if they lead somewhere. Oh, now I see it. What the hell happened here? Don't tell me this is going to be the bloody Eldorado all over again. That the Chintamani stone is actually cursed or something. On a dad while they drive themselves mad by fighting over each other. Well, maybe. Whatever divine retribution or disease caught them drove them mad and they started attacking each other. That would also point to the Black Heath. Seems to end at this wall. Yeah, that's odd. This moves a little. Sully, help me out. Here we go again with the pushing. <laughs> I think I hurt myself. I think you do a doctor in a bit, Sully. Once we get back to civilization. The trail leads in here. 
More bodies. Oh my god. Jesus. You know, maybe I'm crazy. But it looks like they all killed each other. Come on, Nate. You're just getting spooked. I don't think he's just getting spooked, Sully. It would exp Again, most probably due to some sort of disease that cause hallucinations, well maybe it just drives them drives them, drives them the same well rather just drives them primitive. Look at this. What do we have here? Careful. I don't think he's gonna come back. Yes, just sick. kidding. Nate, you're gonna give me a goddamn heart attack. Oh. Man, is that an ugly friggin' thing? What is it? Some kind of weapon? No, no, it's a, a perba. A what? It's a ritual object from Tibet. It's used to destroy obstacles. Huh? No, you know, spiritual ones. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait, could this be what Marco Polo was talking about? Kid, I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> In his journal, he wrote that uh, the worthy seeker would be given a golden passport to conquer obstacles on the journey to Shambhala. So, what, this is it? Look, that's all really interesting, but where the hell is it a passport to? Well, maybe this map would help. Let me see that. <laughs> Between Greater India and the province of Tibet lies a field of exquisitely finished temples. Hundreds of gilded spires stretching as far as the eye can see. Hold on, I know this place. It's in Nepal. Yeah, except it's not just a field of temples anymore, it's a city. Well, that could make things a little more challenging. <sighs> now, hold on, there's more. In all these many temples, only one conceals the secret path to Shambhala. And that path shall only be revealed to the pilgrim who bears the golden passport. All <laughs> right, nice work, kid. So what are we waiting for? <laughs> Let's get out of here. All right. See ya. Let's get going. All right, give me two secs. Uh, hold on. I have to walk. Here we are. Ooh, look at this. So we've got a Yun D Dynasty uh, helmet. That was the craft it too. I always did like finding artifacts like this because they always have their own story to tell. I mean, Why is the music playing like this? It's almost like we're expecting something to happen. I'm gonna go out and make sure the coast is clear. I'll see you in a bit. Up. You sure know how to pick him. Shut up, Sully. Should have known it was you. <laughs> and you, Victor, goddamn Sullivan. You still dragging this tired old sack of shit around? Easy, Nate. That's pretty ballsy for a guy who spent the last three months behind bars. Better than pissing away three months in the jungle without a clue. Found the ships, though, didn't I? You couldn't find your own ass with both hands. And a map. They came from down there. Whoa. Harry, look at this. Speaking of maps... Between India and Tibet... One temple will reveal a path. pathway to Shambhala. Jesus, Flynn, while we're young. Oh, no. Don't be such a bad sport. Take them to Lazarevich. You're gonna wish you'd stayed in prison, mate. Move.
Come on, keep moving. Ah, shit. Are you all right? Yeah, well, it'll make it look more believable. Now I'm going to try and buy you some time. No, Chloe, you have to come with us. No. Just meet me in Nepal. Now run. Yeah. Let's go. Lady of many talents. Like yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> but I think you to... They've spotted us. Oh, dear. Yeah. Bet you're young. I got some for you. Watch it. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, move, 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 move. Thanks for the heads up. Put screwing around and get up here. Let's go. Yeah, it's easy for you to say, Solid. They're not shooting at you. Run! Run. This way. Oh, damn. Now what do we do? We jump. Oh, hold on there, son bitch. You gotta be out of your mind. We'll break our goddamn necks. Yeah, if we get caught, Lazarevich will break them for us. I'm getting too old for this bullshit. Come on, now don't you start this again. Listen, I don't have your luck. Guys like me gotta know when to walk away from the table. Sully, we're gonna get out of this, okay? We always do. Yeah. You go meet your girl in Nepal. I'm going somewhere warm. Come on. Hey, you can tell me all about it when you get back. <sighs> there they are! Oh, shit. Well, shall we? After you, Butch. See you in hell, kid. <laughs> You said Lazarevich had a head start on us. You weren't kidding. Well, he's had some help from the local guerrillas. The city's been on the brink of civil war for years. He just needed to throw a little gasoline on the fire. Charming. Yeah, well, all the chaos provides some cover while he destroys the city looking for the right temple. Nate? Hello? Yeah, I'm still here. You're not having second thoughts, are you? No, me? Never. Good, because I'm so ready to be done with these clowns. You got a map? Uh, yeah. I'll meet you in the old market. Things are pretty quiet over there. Alright, you got it. Uh -oh. You got it, man. Get it. company. Oh, great. Can you lose them? I think it might be too late for that. Come on. Nate, are you alright? I've been better. Hell. Chapter 5 Urban Warfare. Oh, no. Oh, God, Moffat. Don't they ever give up? Ah! Oh, hot bike. What, man? Like, what? what the bloody hell was that problem? Just chasing down one bloke. Okay. The old market. How to be this way? Find him. Crap. <laughs> oh, so much again for this. Go, 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 go! He's here somewhere. Great. He's Keep on bar. He's on bitch. And goons. And... Shoot out the fire! Take him out! Thank you, Gorilla fought it. Get in the cover. Okay. Now we just gotta find Chloe. <sighs> I 
Jesus, just one party after another. <laughs> Okay, I think I might continue on with this chapter. There's only supposed to be one treasure in here at least, but I think the rest of it is just pretty much... Pretty much just stuff to buy. Oh! Yeah, let's not stand next to a burning vehicle next time. Well, I guess I'm not going that way. I don't think I found a way out, Ford. Oh my good, a Gordon Ramsay. Uh, just up the bricks. Hey, pigeon. Hey, pigeon. Uh, excuse me. Hotel El Dorado. Oh, God. Don't really want to hear that name again, please. Oh, dear. Parking job. <laughs> I thought I was a bad driver. Wanna come jump backwards? One, but I'm getting crash bandicoot bombs from those that uh, crate there. All right, so up this way. What did you say that treasure was? Hold on, two secs. Someone wants to collect those all fine artifacts. Go. Where did the gun go? God. Left. There you are. Clear the streets. Yeah, you gotta do your own thing, boys. Okay, it's supposed to be an open manhole around here. Yeah. <laughs> the strange relic. Yet another throwback to Jack and Dexter, another one of Naughty Dog's games. Oh my. I really wish they actually did it, actually did some more Jack and Dexter, because that was a good series. There's a delivery. Oh, oh my God.
Come on. Oh, jeez. Shotgun. Jeez, didn't even even cover like that. Whoa. Jesus. Out of grenades. Oh, there's a propane tank. Wait, that wasn't a propane. I thought that was a propane tank. I think they blew themselves up. Sticking with this thing right now. Oh my god. Back up. I got another grenade. Who the heck? Seems like I am always saving your ass. Well, it is an ass worth saving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that an ancient Tibetan ritual dagger in your pocket? Oh, maybe I'm just happy to see you. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, hello. So this is the key to everything. Yes, it is. Marco Polo's passport to Shambhala. What do we do with it? Ah! <laughs> I have no idea, actually. I do know Lazarevich won't get very far without it. I wouldn't underestimate him, you know. He and Flynn have been tearing this city apart. They must have leveled dozens of temples already. So what's our next move? Nate? <sighs> I hate it when you do that. <laughs> Check this out. You see the symbol? Yeah. Look up there. Okay, I see the resemblance, so what does it mean? It means we know how Marco Polo found his next clue. The temple we're looking for is going to be marked with this emblem. Now all we have to do is find it. <laughs> you do realize there are literally hundreds of these temples throughout the city. Yes, but if we found a higher vantage point... We could spot our needle in the haystack. Right. There's a hotel not far from here. <laughs> Chloe. Now is not the time. It's easily the tallest building in the city. Right. Right. Well, okay. That's uh, that's good thinking. Follow me. Yep. Oh, boy. Always speaking with your wiener, ain't you? Hey. <laughs> oh, no. We're not using the moss here. Oh, we can zoom in with this. I'm gonna need ammo, I say. Ammo, ammo, ammo. Hey, I can see the hotel from up here. Yeah, I know. We're almost there. Okay. Let's just hope there's no more surprises waiting for us at the moment. Might as well. Really? Uh, I'm just gonna climb my way around. Just 
reason we're up there for him. I mean, ooh. I'm gonna have to hurry this up. So as soon as we start the next chapter, I'm gonna have to call an episode. Here we go. Okay. Took the winding, but we made it. This bizarre fish is definitely one to go to extreme measures. They're here somewhere. Trying to preoccupy, Chloe. Oh, God. Really? Flip and shield. Stand and fly. Oh, dang it. Cheap shots. Really? You're shooting at the wall. Come on, poke your head out. God's sakes. Balls on lock. Oh, we need to do the bolt too. Got your back. Thanks. Damn it. I'm sure the end of the episode off sooner. Give me a boost. I think I can reach that ladder. Okay. Boy, it's a shame you have to sit on something that big. Here you go. Don't say I never do anything for you. I don't think I ever remember Nate being such a flirt. Then again, we didn't know much of his character in the first game. How did any was a bit of a treasure hunter? Well, quite a treasure hunter. Do we have to shoot these? Yeah. Bloody hell, Lazarevich is quite the warmonger. I think I know I said this before, but god dang it. Come on, this way. Just don't want to get a splinter. Uh. That was chivalrous, huh? Yeah, it's not dead. You just gotta ask for it. <laughs> Maybe so. Hey, pigeons. Chapter six. Doesn't look like things are going too well for the resistance. Well, what do you expect? The bizarre face probably has a bad eye. Bloody army's worth of um, munitions. Alrighty, and that's gonna be it for today's episode. I wanted it to be a bit shorter, but hey, what can you do? First bit was, well, technically, we just got thrown straight into a gunfight, so nothing I can really do. Yeah, <sighs> thought it was gonna be shorter than that, but I guess I was wrong. But anyway, that's gonna do it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, please remember to hit that like button. Also, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and show your support for the channel. I very much appreciate that. Now, with that being said and done, I've got editing to do. So, thank you all again, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves, and drive safely out there, people. Bye-bye, take care, and have a bloody good time. <sighs>